What's up guys? Trend Mage here. I'm a practicing occultist. Initiated into the Cliff Off. Beginning my journey as a necromancer. And a um, someone who is uh, connected to the death current and um, learning every day how to transmute all the energy that I pick up and um, consume it and uh, use it for my own benefits. Something that I have struggled with my whole life being very, very psychic and connected to the energy around me. Um, fuck was that? Creating, it creates a lot of issues for um, sensitive people when um, when you, when no one's guiding you and helping you on your journey, um, they're only hurting you. Um, you don't have that reassurance from anyone um, that you're on the right path and um, or that you're on the wrong path like when you get nothing from no from anyone um, it can be very problematic to the um, to the witch or the occultist one second <clears throat> Um, I want to make a video about um, well, I'll start out by asking a question um, I think uh, I like to start out my videos or maybe even title a lot of these as questions because I think it's um, a very good thing to ask yourself questions about yourself and um, it keeps you in check and it keeps you um, in a state of growth rather than a stagnant um, collapsing yeah whatever there's different ways to look at it but um, I guess what I would ask what I want to ask is, um, who is your God? Who are your gods? Who do you, um, what do you um, focus your energy on? And I really think that uh, most people, or I know that most people don't even, they don't even pay mind to the things that they, um, are putting their energy into it's totally on um, on a passive mode totally a subconscious thing they don't even realize the way other people and other entities are making decisions for them <clears throat> yes yeah, so who are you giving your energy to what are you giving your energy to um, it's not so conscious like you think. It's not so conscious. 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 You can't just wake up one day and say, well, you can, but it's not that easy for most people. I, you can't just go, I'm going to 
I'm gonna stop giving my energy away. I mean, that's a start, but there are things taking your energy probably that you don't even realize. So it really, um, I mean, I've given you guys great examples of what to do. Um, you know, if you're in a, if you're unhappy with your life, you know, it's not the worst place to start by cutting off everyone, pretty much, even family. Um, I'm not saying you have to do this, but if you if you could just spend time alone for a month and then start to reintegrate things um, and then pay attention to how you feel around people, um, That's a great place to start. Um, but even if you're spending your time alone, um, there's a lot of traps. The internet is a trap. It's a big fucking trap. Um, don't get me wrong, you can, use, you can use the internet to grow, but you could spend a whole fucking month alone and sit on Netflix the whole time not get anywhere I mean you might get you might get somewhere cutting off toxic friends but you'd be surprised at um, the levels of uh, energy harvesting there is that's going on in this um, this realm you'd be very surprised um, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are So fucking um, so um, par like you're just drained you're so drained you wouldn't even realize it because your energy that you might think you have you'd be surprised you wake up and you need a cup of coffee, you need it, cup of coffee. Um, you, um, if you feel really sad when you don't hang around your friends for a couple days or a week, you don't talk to them, it's a crutch, cut them out. These things feed the parasites. When you stop to feed the parasites, when you stop feeding the parasites, um, your energy, it, there's a transition phase. So you have to build up your own energy. Um, so many of you people don't even know what your own energy feels like. And then there's people like me who um, were just being tortured and were fighting these parasites our whole lives. I'm not saying that I didn't have a parasite feeding on me too, and I wasn't feeding on other people to a degree, but um, there's some of us who are closer to breaking out, and um, there's a lot, a lot of the damage is right on the surface there because we won't succumb. So we, um, like chronic fatigue and stuff like that, like I had really bad chronic fatigue from like probably like 1920 to pretty much this year being 26 years old I just got my energy back um, a lot of people don't experience this because they're so uh, they're good little slaves um, the parasites um, Yahweh, Jehovah, all of those fucking groups and entities, they, um, they reward their good little slaves and give them a fake sense of energy because they don't do much. They don't make any, they're, it's just like, um, a little pat on them. Like they don't even, they don't even know how they feel. They think they feel good and they've got all this energy, whatever. It's chaotic energy. So, 
it's not real. It's all it's all bullshit. It's a part of the illusion. And this is fucking known. If you if you doubt it, okay. Any any real occultist is gonna agree with me on what I'm saying here. So it's on you if you don't agree. If you're offended, you know. But uh this wasn't actually the video I was gonna make. I was gonna make a video about being a hater or um, having haters. But I've been making a lot of these videos off the cuff, so I hope you guys like them. Um, check out my Patreon, of course. Still got zero patrons, which is just a shame because um, the, the way the divine are working in me right now is just, it's really a wonderful thing to witness. Um, I'm doing all sorts of shit in my mundane life and I'm I haven't even hit um, a level of to where I can really um, like give a lot of this my full energy too I'm just I'm getting these bursts of uh, inspiration and downloads of uh, spells and stuff so when, I, when things really start to stabilize for me um, I can only imagine like the growth that's going to come then but it's like what's um it's really awesome i've been letting some people try some of these and um we're all getting really great results so um yeah patreon um it's on my profile on youtube it's on my profile on twitter link in the description um i really don't think you could go wrong if you take this shit seriously and you really give what I'm saying a chance and you um, you got a pure heart wanting to change and wanting to um, initiate yourself into the mysteries um, there's so much to be gained so don't worry so much about what you might lose like for instance $22 in me the, the benefits that you could gain are unimaginable um toxic friends yeah it hurts yeah you don't want to see that happen you don't want to see the the loss but um what's gained is um unreal it's really a wonderful thing um if you want to sit down and talk with me um sixty dollars for 30 minutes um, we'll say $100 for an hour. It's like $2 a minute or less. Um, if you go into that with the, the will to, um, to grow, um, you'd be surprised at how worth it that is. Um, I have a very powerful energy and um, I make change wherever I go. So, do something for yourself, guys. Thank you.